This video is uh, original from Epson and Hansung. Now we tell the menu of how to upgrade Epson 4720 print head to i3200 official channel print head by Hansung Adaptive Board. Firstly, make sure that your printer is power on and then see your board system is USB version or LAN version. Here, USB version. And you see, this is LAN version. For USB version, you have to check the chip version, the main chip version. If the main chip version is X25, then congratulations, you can upgrade. If your main chip version is X16, I'm so sorry that you cannot upgrade. If your board is LAN version, yeah, you can upgrade. Okay, let's start with LAN version and uh, talking about how to upgrade the software first. Firstly, you check the version and, and plus the high level and see the version number and then upgrade. Now it's on upgrade the software. After finish installed, you have to reset the computer and the printer and make sure that stop the printer at least uh, 30 seconds or more because need some time to upgrade and then reset open the printer and the computer again to see if we have success upgraded we'll go to see the version of the software if the version comes one one zero two three then your success upgraded the software if you use USB version and the, the main chip is x25 let's see how to upgrade the software firstly open the logic upgrade uh, tools and make sure that the printer and the computer is connected by band lines. Upgrade the uh, print head carriage boot. Now it's upgrading. When finished, shut down the printer, shut down the computer for more than 30 seconds and then start again to see if we have success upgraded you see the version number you can see if it's the new one when uh, start again you see if their upgrade success then we go to change the adapter board connect the data belt 14 like the picture show this is a two head printer Re remove the 4720 print head and damper can use again so you can keep it Remove the heads. The data belt can use again, so you can keep it. Remove the 4720 adapt card and data belt. You can remove the base because for new adapt card, no need base. 16 data belt remove it remove the old data belt this 
left side is old one, right side is I320 new one. One handsome adapter board can support two print heads, two I320 print heads. Now we install the new print head. Connect one full data belt. Connect the damper. Make sure the order is right. Okay, we success upgrade it. But why we have to upgrade it? Because I320 with longer head edge, uh, application is wider, speeding up, and jetting frequency is higher. A male point about upgrade. We have to see its USB OLAN and upgrade the software first and then change the main boot, adapter boot.